Good day everyone. I have put together this video to summarize how I calculated my crypto gains and losses for tax purposes in Australia. Disclaimer: This is only my attempt to work out my capital gains. I am not a tax advisor. This does not cover actual tax laws or rates. Check with your tax accountant in regards to your own trades. I have picked generic names and prices. This is an Australian perspective. The terms are based off share trading, acquisition, how much you pay for the coin, excluding the trading fee, broker fee, the trading fees. Proceeds, how much profit or loss after the sale was finalized. So as I said in the disclaimer, these examples all have generic dates, generic coins, generic market prices, quantities, brokerage fees, and gains and losses. So the categories I have here in these examples are a simple buy and sell category where you buy the coin, it never leaves the exchange, and then you sell it. The second category is a simple buy, send, and sell where you buy the coin on one, one particular exchange, you move it to another exchange, and then you sell it on that exchange, and it does allow for transaction losses. And then the third category is where you buy a coin, you send it to a wallet, and then you only send one third out of that wallet, and then you sell that one third. And then the fourth category is where you trade one coin for another coin and you calculate it based on the sale price on that day. Now all of these examples have all been ordered in terms of their sell date. The buy dates have been ignored in this particular instance. They have simply been added to the sell date so that you can see the way that they function but the entire example is set in order of their sell dates. Now on to our first example for the buy and sell example. Now in all of these examples, the grey painted full price has been ignored. It has simply been broken down into the acquisition and broker fees shown in pink. So in this case, the acquisition price is the paid in full price minus the brokerage fee. So as you can see, $200 minus 4 equals $196. This brought a quantity of 0 0.098 at a market price of $2,000. Now if this asset never left the exchange and then it got sold for $1,000, at the same quantity of 0.098, then it would sell for $96. When you take out the brokerage fees and you compare the acquisition price to the proceeds price, you get a, a loss of $105. And you can see the formulas uh, below as to how some of these things can be calculated. Now, in terms of the buy, send and sell category, we have bought a coin on one exchange, sent it to another exchange and sold it on that exchange. And this has taken the transaction fee into account and basically deducted it from all the calculations. Once you have sold that quantity on the different exchange and taken into account all of the fees, in this particular instance, you have a gain of $24. So in this third example, we buy a coin on one particular exchange, we send it to a wallet, and then we send one third back to an exchange and then sell it. In these instances, it is very complicated to be able to differentiate the true buy and sell cost as you've only sold one third of the original buy price. 
as you can see in this example, there is an adjusted line. This adjusted line is to be able to break down the 2.45 quantity down to 0.8, ready for it to be solved. This adjusted line is shown easily in the formula below. The acquisition price divided by the original quantity price and then times by the new quantity should give you the result that you require. Please feel free to pause and look at the formulas in order to be able to understand and create the example for yourself. In the last example, we have the trade for trade coin. You will need to find out what the actual sell price is for the original coin and the new coin in order to figure out exactly what the acquisition and sale price is. It is basically like the other calculations, except you just need to go back and actually find out what the sale price is of that particular date and time. And then you should be able to follow all of the formulas below and should be able to get a result that you require. Thank you for watching. I hope that I've helped you find out how to calculate your gains and losses. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.